Sugar and spice. Sugar. Hey. Okay, so like, hi, this right here, me, I'm Princess Precious, and I can totally see myself in the screen, and that's a little bit distracting, because I think I look so beautiful, you know, I really love my big balloons, hairstyle, okay, so like, okay, What was I saying? So I'm here on Sugar and Spice SMS's channel with my very first attempt to try out this SMS thing. You know, SMS where you feel those tinkles in your head and like your neck and like your, what's it called, um, spine. So, in order for this to be like really SMS, um, like, I'm going to like speak in this very soft way, maybe even whisper from time to time, we'll see. And, of course, I can't stop playing with my hair and that's a strong visual trigger, I've been told. Also, I'm going to do my makeup, so you can see how that's done, okay? Maybe you learn a little bit something today, and yeah, as you can tell, I'm like very pale, okay? Because I'm like, like Danish, and that's like up in, you know, like Scandinavia, that's what it's called, it's called Scandinavia and we don't have like summer all year round and I really hate that because I like being really tan and looking exotic and sensual and everything like that. Oh, hand movements. I've heard that's great trigger as well. So yeah, I'm I'm going to do my my makeup for you which is a trigger as well for this um sms thing okay oh my gosh i'm going to be so good all right so here we go camila you know that's what she's called in real life her name's not actually sugar and spice sms She's taught me that tapping on stuff is great as well, okay, and this is my makeup bag, well one of them, I have so much makeup like you wouldn't believe, like oh my gosh, but this is what I'm gonna be using today, okay, <laughs> right? And I'll be starting off with this. I don't know if you've ever heard of the Concepcion. It's self-tanner and it'll make you look tan in like seconds, okay? And since it's still a little bit cold here in Denmark, I'm not going to like show off like too much skin or anything. So I'm only going to put this on my face. Um, oh, and by the way, this is just a very natural look, you know, just for like an everyday makeup kind of thing. Yeah, so you can wear this, wear, th wear you can, you can like, Totally pull this off if you're like going to work or I mean studying at school or like going shopping or anything. <laughs> yeah, this look is very good for those special occasions like everyday kind of things. So I'm gonna be starting with just 
a very um, evenly applied self tanner okay so I'm taking this out in my hands just a little bit like that and very evenly smear it around my pale face and make sure when you do this that you don't get in your hairline because it looks so weird and like so crazy if you like running around with self tanner in your hairline so make sure that you keep a good distance okay i'm going to take some more because like i said we want this to be even okay you know i've heard that this face touching thing is also very triggering when it comes to sms so I hope that you find this triggering. Yeah. I'm going to look so beautiful. And let me tell you, so are you. Like you wouldn't believe. Okay, so really get in to those fine little pores. Oh, and by the way, I'm using... I'm using my screen as my mirror. Oh, it's like so perfect. I can see myself as I film. I really love that. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to let this dry now that it's applied very evenly throughout my whole pale Danish face. Okay, so we're just going to let this dry and make sure that we don't get up in like the nos no like the holes in like the nose yeah um i may even go over um because after this is dried into your skin you kind of would kind of want get after this is like dried into your skin like really soak up into your skin you are going to have to put on foundation and that might actually cover this beautiful tan that we just gave ourselves okay so I might even go over with the self tanner again oh, it's starting to like come off again that's not good so I'm just going to stop okay this is important, you guys. Can you, like, tell the difference? It's so important that you wash this off right away because it looks really fake, you know? Like, if you have one tan hand and, like, one knot. So, I might be taking some kitchen towel. Is that what it's called? I don't know this paper thing and I have like this all-in-one facial cleanser okay by this Danish brand and I'm just going to, to soak this thing okay and then oh tickles 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 Okay, so I'm just washing, washing, wa and you can tell, mm -hmm, it's really coming up, very good. Okay, so, not again. I think that this is all dried into our beautiful skin. Can you see we have a very, very good looking tan? at this point okay and while you wait you can always play around with your hair to like make it bigger and more voluminous okay so yeah moving on i'm going to take out this i'm going to find my my foundation and it's right like here okay 
and it's from L'Oreal and it's called Inflammable Infallible Stay Fresh Foundation Fights Makeup Meltdown 24 hours Yeah, can you see that's what it says? So, this is very good for me um, because yeah so I'm gonna simply just take some and very evenly spread it around in my face and let me tell you <laughs> and let me tell you this covers up so nice can you tell and you really don't have to work it around your face all that much because it just covers instantly like can you see that but unfortunately it also covers up our fake tan so we might just put a little bit more of self tanner on like our skin and like our face you know and when I say our it's because um I'm imagining that you are sitting in your home doing this too and if you're not well then you might do it afterwards okay so yeah but I don't want to like um, touch my eyeballs or anything but we don't want to look unnatural so we're going to like really being careful to like get in here in this area right here and over the eyes because we want it to look even and I think it looks so pretty by this point yeah we can just dab it a little bit This is going to make sure that it really sticks to those pores and they, that they really suck all the makeup into them. And yeah, to help it dry more quickly. We can even go a little bit over our lips because that'll make our lipstick last even longer. Okay, so yeah. So I'm going to take out this self tanner again. Do you remember? That's what I used first. I'm going to use it again. I'm not going to use it as much, but still just a little bit. I put it around my face very evenly, giving myself a little massage, kind of, sort of, yeah. This is really, really good. I think I did a very good job. It looks so even. Okay. Very even looking. And I don't see any redness or anything. And those little breakouts I have, they're all covered. Okay. And like I said, it's still a little bit cold outside. So I don't want to like show off a lot of skin, you know, and I think I did a good job not touching like my skin right here. I think I did a really good job not Okay, so like anyway um So we just wait for this to like dry. Oh, that's a little bit of redness. There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm looking so tan right now. I'm like ready for like like something. Okay, so I'm going to like clean this hand again because this hand is all clean okay so like we want to clean this hand as well oh uh, where did i put like the kitchen paper towel 
roll. Where are you? Again, just really, really make sure that you get it all off because we don't want it to look like fakeness stuff. It's not coming off. Um. So yeah, moving on. Gosh, I'm going to like move on with like um the makeup on. Um, I'm going to move on with like uh, the makeup on my eyeball. Not my eye. You know what I mean, okay? And to make sure that it really lasts. Some people use a primer. I simply use like this from Gosh, and it's a waterproof um, um, eyeshadow. Okay, and it's gold, but you're not going to see that because we're going to put pink all over it. But this will make pink last even more once we have like this creamy base okay like this creamy foundation oh my gosh foundation i just realized <laughs> foundation it's totally like a base maybe that's why they call it foundation so yeah there we go. And as you can tell, this looks so crazy right now. I mean, like gold on my eyelids. <laughs> so I'm going to like take out my favorite eyeshadows. Get over here. Yeah. From Hot Makeup. Especially the pink shades, and especially the hot pink one. Yeah, it's like so great. But to make a little bit of um, depth, dimension, shadowy things, I'm going to use like two shades of pink on like my whole lid. I'm going to use this light pink and like on the outside corners I'm going to use this hot pink and this will really like pop make your eyes like pop not like actually pop out of your head but like yeah just going to dab this on and can you see how bright this looks when I dab this on and it's because we did this creamy foundation base thingy and we just want to go all over our eyelid with this I really hope that this is good SMS stuff those facial Triggers are like very um, triggering. Oh, by the way, I should say this. Don't feel bad if this is like your first time putting on makeup or just like this makeup. Um, because of course it's not going to look as good as this. Um, I've had like so many years of practice well actually I'm like a natural so it came really easy to me okay but still as you can tell I'm basically a makeup artist and I'm not even a makeup artist it's like just I could be okay you can also 
just to make sure that they're all pretty framed. Oh gosh. So now for the hot pink. And I'm just going to do this in the corner and blend it very well into the other shadow and like up onto the eyebrow thingies. It's going to look so good. Very, very appropriate for like school or like work if you do that kind of thing or like shopping. But I already told you. So I'm just blending away, blending, blending, blending away. Is that a trigger word? Blend, 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 blending away. Does that trigger SMS? I don't know, I'm very new at this, so I have to learn. But it's like I learned something, like this SMS thing, and like you learned something. You know, how to look beautiful and radiator. Radiant. Okay. Okay, so I think this is it. Oh, by the way, make sure that the um, lines are very, very well um, finished because otherwise it's going to look very um, messy. Kind of. Yeah. So, so pretty. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now I'm just going to close this and I'm going to move on to eyeliner. Okay, you can skip this step if you want to. But I think eyeliner just makes your eyelashes look like so much bigger, okay? Especially if you do a winged eyeliner thing. And I'm going to show you how to do that, so just hang on, okay? Um, we're going to put this away and find our eye. Find our eye. Our eyeliner, yeah. Um, and this is like a gel thing so it's like a gel liquid thing from L'Oreal as well I'm a huge fan of L'Oreal and just open this make sure that it's all covered in this Gorgeous um, stuff. Make sure to really hold out your eye. Really, t it can hurt a little bit, but like, just trust me, okay? Hold out your eye really tight and just paint on. Ow! And just paint on the stuff and make sure that it's a little bit wide, you know, so that it really looks like um, it's your eyebrows. Oh gosh, not eyebrows. <laughs> I would look so weird if I had like eyebrows down here. No, eyelashes, okay. We want them to look, oh, I did it again, fudge. We want our eyelashes to look very fake. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Well, actually it does. But, duh, it is. Okay, we like the look of a fake eyelash, okay? Because that's the way to more beautiful so and make 
sure to wing this out like so and don't worry if this is way more dramatic than normal Don't worry if this, like, is way more dramatic than you normally would like to do it. Um, just trust me, this looks so good. Like, those fake eyelashes. And it lasts all day long. very important to tell yourself that from time to time that you look gorgeous I do tell myself that like not from time to time like all the time <laughs> okay because I really do think I look gorgeous okay and it's very good for your self-esteem to like tell you that yeah So it's like totally time to move on now and we're going to um, continue with the, the eye area. This is um, supposed to be symbolizing these, which I can't remember the name of, eyelashes. That's what they're called. And to make them look really, really like fake, we use this which is an eyelash curler normally I would just wear fake lashes but I just broke them okay so I can't wear them because they're like broken and stuff and that's not good just be careful when you do this because you don't want to accidentally grab your eyeball because that does not need to be curled okay so can you like tell the difference already so only grabbing the lashes and not the eyeballs there we go and now ladies and gentlemen it's time for mascara and we have to put on like a huge amount of mascara to make our lashes look fake and gorgeous. So I'm going to take out my little mascara, okay, it's right here and it is by Maybelline. It's waterproof. Okay, enough of that. As you have already guessed, I really like my thing, you know, my makeup to like last. So, of course, I chose like a waterproof mascara, okay? And I have like this, um, um, I have like this, um, eye makeup remover and it's suitable for waterproof makeup as well, okay? So that's what I use and it's like totally not a problem to like clean off your waterproof mascara okay so we're going to let that dry just for a little while and we can like totally move on to the other one it's, it's not like i have just one it's like okay so they are looking so more and more fake by each and every passing second, okay? And that's our goal. Oh, 
Okay, see that? I just like hit my eye. It doesn't matter because when your eyes are like open, it looks like your eyelashes. Okay, so it just emphasizes your lashes and makes them look like longer. I was going to say younger. <laughs> I don't know if you can actually make your eyelashes look. L l I don't know if you can actually make your eyelashes look younger. Okay, so like, okay, those were the first layer. And I'm going to go back in and do like 10 to 20 more layers of this, okay? And I'm not going to show you, oh gosh. So like, I'm doing all these layers, as you can tell. Layer, layer. And that's the thing with makeup. The more you layer, the longer it's going to last and the more dimension and depth you're creating. Okay, so it's going to look even more stunning and beautiful if you do all these layers. And not only um, regarding, you know, what's called mascara, but like every part of your makeup. Okay, and you're going to have to like ignore the like crazy face you're going to make when you do this. It's kind of like necessary. So there we go. Looking so good by this point. Just making sure that just making sure that they are all covered and very well layered. Can you tell? The other one. Of course, we don't want to look stupid. I think that's good. So they are looking very fake, luminous, and like gorgeous right now, okay? So, this was mascara. Now we move on to our eyebrow thingies, because even though my eyebrows are already, already, with, they are already white and very easy to see. I still want to like um, make them even more visible. Okay, so I have a trick, and a very good trick, if I may say so. I use this little kit right here. It's like an eyebrow kit and it's just some shadows. I suppose you could actually use just regular regular eyeshadow in okay, as long as it's black or like brown or like whatever the color you want. And we're going to take our little eyebrow brush and dab it into the black because I think black suits me best, okay, because like my lashes are black, yeah. <sighs> Make them as visible as possible, like that, but like they still look just very natural. You can not even tell that they are painted over because, like, the little hairs are so well covered that it just looks so 
stunning and natural, okay? Can you tell? There we go. Almost done. I just need a couple more steps to finish this whole, like, look. And I'm ready to go out and shop. Yeah. And like I said, this is just an everyday look. This is not like what you do if you want to go like to a bar or, you know, you're attending a party or anything. This is just an everyday makeup look. If you want, I'll create like a party look for you as well. Because we'll be totally able to see the difference, okay? And... She looks so good. And you still want it to look a little bit different than, than from like your everyday makeup. So that it's a little bit different looking. I'm just going to see if I can remove those freckles I made because um, I don't want any freckles today. There we go. So like, yeah. I think that I look very pretty at this point with the tan and everything. But I really do think that I need a little bit of blusher. Because it makes us look like just younger and fresher and like glowing and radiator, radiant. Okay, so I'm going to take out this makeup blush. As you can tell, there are like four colors, four shades of pink, my favorite color, in here. So you can like totally switch it up and like mix it up and like only use one or like all of them <sighs> there we go what did I just smell at? so we take our little blush brush oh my gosh I should so do your makeup oh my god going to do that in another video, okay? So, I'm going to like take like these two right here like this one and like that one can you tell? And go around in circles, you know, like here on the apples of my cheeks and and like blend it out very good and like I'm going to like totally do the same thing again with the oh my gosh did I just use the same colors so like going over the apples of the cheeks blend it out um yeah <laughs> a good thing. It's a good thing. Because, well, it's, it just is. Okay, so I only need one more thing. And that's my lips. And to make sure that they are very well hydrated I'm just going to use like um like this uh, it's a tinted lip balm oh my god I'm going to sneeze again <laughs> bless me see oh my god look at that little mouth isn't it cute so it's like a tinted lip balm. Don't know if I said that already, 
but like it's it's in the lip balm that you just put on like this and it smells like um like um like what's it called mint smile when you do it pout when you do it because we want those lips to be very moisturized and like with all the other makeup we want it to last like the whole day through okay and I even like to go just a little bit outside the lips because it will make them look even more big and beautiful and that's a good thing. And just blend it in very well, like this. It does not taste like mint, I can tell you that. Blend, 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 blend. Oh gosh, they look so big. So fake. So gorgeous. So I like to give that last little to this gorgeous look um, I'm going to use just like um, what's it called like a lip gloss to make them look glossy and even more girly and voluminous and beautiful okay so I use this pink lip gloss right here got a little bit of shimmer to it as well. I don't know if you can tell. So, it will look gorgeous with the rest of... Oh my god, I just realized that gorgeous is like my new favorite word. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And with everything else, do it very well and make it last all day long can you see the difference oh gosh it's so 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 pretty and like if it doesn't last like like longer I'm going to put this in my purse and like take it with me all day so I can just fresh fresh I can just put on some more if I need to okay so yeah this is the whole look my princess precious everyday look and I guarantee if you do this you're going to get so much attention let me tell you you are ladies and gentlemen and you are definitely not only going to get attention you're going to be like the center of attention and we like that don't we yeah so Make sure that your hair is all big and fluffy and you're ready to go and sparkle. Okay, so like, thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you like this video and that you'll give a thumbs up and subscribe to like. That you'll follow Sugar and Spice SMS's channel, okay? Because that would make us really, really happy, okay? And I'm like going to have my very own little playlist of videos, so it's like I have my own little space on her.
her channel and I really like that okay so yeah smooth bangs voluminous lengths Mwah. kisses and huggies I love ya <laughs>